red jatropha red jatropha those of you who know this herb you know it eh <laughs> it's a very very good herb and i'm just going to mention a few things that i know about it the rest you guys you already know what it treats okay so this herb it treats anemia if you're anemic you have uh, you need blood in your body this is the herb that is going to help you if you have piles if you have stomach disorders if you have infertility you're struggling with that if you have infections like bacterial infections fungal infections you have psoriasis you have extreme eczema you are really struggling with that eczema this herb is going to help you those people who have sickle cells this is the herb that is going to help you now this herb is so powerful that you just we do, you don't dry it under a shade you have to dry it a little bit under the sun like for some hours under the sun some people just completely leave it under the sun until it is dry that's how powerful it is so before i go i'm going to say this and i want you to hear me well god created these herbs for our healing he gave us these herbs for our nourishment he gave us these herbs for food he gave us these herbs to help our bodies live a healthy life while we are here on earth he knew that we needed them he created them every chemical in these herbs is from him now we need to understand that god knows everything that we need that is why he sent his only begotten son jesus christ to die for our sins because he knew that we needed him to save us we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of god we need christ to have eternal life now if you treat yourself with all these herbs you treat your body and then you don't mind about your soul where it's going to spend eternity honestly you're not loving yourself at all so as you treat your body also make sure that your soul is catered for and the only way that you can do that is to accept Jesus Christ as your personal lord and savior while there is still a chance before it is too late